I am calling for a complete and total shutdown on white women until we can figure out what the hell is going on. Huh? Yeah. Holy shit. Epic. Why? Is that like a metaphor for like 60 million Latin Americans coming to America and telling us how to govern? Or like, or what, is, what is the angle there? I mean... 19th Amendment, great idea. They're giving me coronavirus. Yes. And then I have a .0004 chance of dying from it, yeah. which is a bummer. I sure hope you're one of the ones who die. Why? Why would you yeah. wish death upon yeah. me? Get the f*** out of my face. Me <laughs> Hillary Clinton is hot. Hillary Clinton's not hot. More of a Nancy Reagan guy, Melania. Jackie. When's the next time we're gonna get a pog in the White House, boys? <laughs> four more years! Four more years! Four more years! Let's go! Yo, we're out here. Trump rally. The Don. Yet again. Talking to protesters. Speed run. Any percent. Let's go. I'm gonna record two predictions. Prediction one. Many of these people are armed. I'm probably gonna get shot. Prediction two. These people are armed, but they watch shoot me. <laughs> and then we're gonna use whichever one is accurate. What is the point, since you're the organizer, what was like the thesis of this, this demonstration? Uh, Donald Trump's bad for America and Americans, and we want to let people know Muskegon County does not want Donald Trump here, let alone in, in office in the White House. What do you think about some of the people on the other side of the street that were kind of giving you guys issues? I don't issues? think anything about them. Do you think that they're more representative or less representative of like Muskegon County? Muskegon County, they're definitely less representative. Okay. If you look, there's a lot of people that came to see our president from different parts of Michigan yeah. because he's here and yeah. he doesn't come to West Michigan that often. Mm -hmm. So of course they traveled from miles and miles away. Muskegon County is blue. Michigan will be blue at the end on November 3rd. Do you mind if we do like a little interview? No, uh, talk to my wife. Okay. okay, I will do that. Okay. So what are you out here doing this fine evening? I'm protesting against Donald Trump, and whom I do not call my president and never have. Okay. And have you already voted? Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to take an educated guess that was for Joe Biden. Absolutely. What do you like about Joe Biden as opposed to, to Donald Trump? I, well, I think he's a man of integrity. You know, I, 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 I think there were other people on that, on that stage at the debates that would have been better but I'll take anybody over Donald Trump. What are some things that you really just don't like about Donald Trump, if you had to name three? I mean, I have to ask. Okay, let's see, he, he's an incredible liar. He's a draft dodger. He's a cheat. He's a philanderer. Uh, I can't say, an, uh, there are so many bad things about Donald Trump, and I, I can't think of a single good one. I think he's a sociopath. Is, is that why your flag says Trump, no? No, yes. Okay. I hate him. I think, hate him. I do. I think it's the worst thing that happened to this country in this world, ever. What do you think would be the second worst thing? If he gets reelected. Okay. This? Thank you so much. Yep. Enjoy your resisting and stuff. Yes. I'm a child of the 60s. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> boomers. We love our boomers. So what is that flag and what does it mean? Well, to me, it's a symbol of my identity as a descendant of Irish immigrants and kind of the revolution and anti like and like fight the power mentality that they had because they were a colonized state yeah and they there was a whole period in irish history where they basically said we're not going to accept that you're just going to come here and tell us what to do and how to live and try to impose your reality onto us which is just like what that spirit represents with the so are you like is that like a metaphor for like 60 million Latin Americans coming to America and telling us how to govern? Or like, or what, is, what is the angle there? I mean, it's not really about Latin Americans. Like, I'm just wondering, like, why would you bring that to this demonstration? Are you with like these guys or with those guys? With all these people. Okay. So like, what, what does that represent to you then within this context? Within the, I mean, it's just about like showing up and saying where I personally came from and what makes me like care about this and it's just kind of a personal symbol if I had a Black Lives Matter flag I would have brought that yeah but this is just what I had currently. I can respect that. I'm also an Irishman what's your last name mine's Doyle which is like one of the most popular last names so that's that's how people always can kind of figure it out but I don't have I thought we were outside so we'd be okay okay why are you out here 
I mean to protest Trump, obviously. What don't you like about Trump? I like your sign, by the way. That's one of the, the better constructed signs. It's from an actual artist. There's a bunch of them that license their work for people to use as protest signs. So you didn't make that? No, I wish I had. I rescind my compliment then. Apologies. I'm not that creative. So, do you, are those like your least favorite things about him, or is there something else that you just really don't like about Mr. There's Trump? Really not much I do like about him. So, sure, those are my least favorite things about him. Did you vote for Joe Biden already? Are you planning to? Um, I'm sure I will because of the alternative or lack thereof. If it weren't against Donald Trump, do you think that you would still vote for Joe Biden? Or are you in favor of like a, a more progressive candidate like a Bernie Sanders or an Elizabeth Warren? I would definitely vote for a more progressive candidate if I could. Okay. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you about your sign? Uh, what about it? Leave I just want to... What? Leave her alone. Okay. Yeah. Step back. Six feet. You actually got within six feet of me so was the problem. So why are you within six feet of me? You walked closer to her. To her, right. And then she came into my my safe space. The wind is moving this way. Oh, you're right. The wind is moving that way. That's facts. No, as in like if they're downwind. They're giving me coronavirus. And then I have a point zero 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 four chance of dying from it, which is a bummer. I sure hope you're one of the ones who die. Why? Why would you wish death upon me? I actually, dude, that one, that's it, that one white woman was the last straw. I am calling for a complete and total shutdown on white women until we can figure out what the hell is going on. Asian girls, DM me. <laughs> like, that's why they're so depressed, because they're like all feminist, and they're trying to be like men, but they can't because they're still women, and then they're just sad about it. So they get cats, dildos, and SSRIs, in that order. You, are, you can't understand really what like um, black people go through but you will still stand with them because you understand you at least understand that they're going through some struggle yeah. what are some of the things that you think they're going through in 2020 well systematic racism of course and all these unjust um, killing of them by the police I mean it's pretty obvious I mean those police not being um, sent to jail right away when they should have been clearly what do you think is the greatest single example of systemic racism in America? Um, probably like poverty, I guess. Um, or... I'm not 100% sure, I guess. How are some ways that you think that... That guy's yelling, I'm sorry. How are some, or what are some ways that you think that poverty is affecting black people, like in, in, in regards to poverty or economic status? Um, I guess... What was the question again? <laughs> what are some ways that you think that racism contributes to black people being in poverty? Racism and poverty? Um, probably like... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I guess like with maybe education-wise and um, not being able to get into certain areas or be, being in like lower economic like areas, I guess. Put in. How does racism contribute to the education and, and like the poverty and stuff, though? How does? I'm not entirely sure how to answer that. What? Who are you? My name's John. Get out of here! I'm not talking to you, idiots. Why are we idiots? Dude, just get away from me. All right, my bad. So what did he say, though? Okay. Did you guys catch it by any chance? Just out here asking questions. Oh my God! You're so Thanks, dude. Wake up. Trump is a fraud. What an insightful take. I've never heard that on Twitter.com before, dude. Huh? Yeah. Epic. Why? Why am I an idiot? Don't talk to them. We've already, we've already sent to them. We don't want to talk. We don't fucking talk. We don't talk to idiots. Why am I an idiot? Because you're an idiot. I'm talking, talking to my friend over here. That's I'm over here doing this. I'm over here reading it's like, signs. I'm over here talking to Take your YouTube channel, shove it up your ass and go somewhere else. Thank you. YouTube channel is like an abstract entity, so it can't just be like shoved up an ass. I love it. Like I actually thought this guy was cool until... Do I know what? Do you like Pinochet? Pinochet? Yeah. Oh, the the dictator? Yeah. No. No. I, I would imagine... He has a right to I would imagine that what you think of my views is probably like 
like a little bit more aggressive and, and immoral than what they actually are. Um, and I'd love to like discuss that because this, this stuff fascinates me. You don't discuss the right-wing media outlets. Okay. Do you think that bridging the gap is important at all in, in conversation? That's the last thing I'll ask. It's my job, yeah. If you stay six feet away from us because you're not wearing a Okay. I heart naps, but I stay woke. What does that mean to a baby boomer that might be watching? It means that even though I like to take naps, I stay woke in the sense that like, when you're woke nowadays, you know right from wrong in the common sense aspect. As far as racism is wrong, white supremacy is wrong, um, grabbing women by the pussy is wrong. Usually, things like that. Usually, so. unless it's invited, like okay. asked for. Like when you're a star and they just let you do it, right? Exactly. When they, when you're a star, apparently it's just okay. You get it. Yeah. So what are some like? How does that bring you that out here? Well, honestly, we didn't even know this was happening, and we drove by. We were a little offended. We didn't know, and we stopped. Did you have the signs like on hand? No, we asked people for extra signs. So people were like coordinating and they had all the signs and stuff made already? They had some extra signs laying around. Okay. So you don't like Donald Trump? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> what are your least favorite things about him, like if you had to pick three? Um, probably the white supremacy, the dishonesty, and then um, the anti-feminist. Yeah. What do you think like some things that he's done that are like emblematic of white supremacy? Telling the white supremacist group that supports him to stand back and stand by rather than standing down when he was asked on a platform, he had the perfect chance right then to condemn it, and instead he told them to stand back and stand by, meaning that he was going to need them someday, and that's just really unfortunate. Wait, was that during the debate? Yeah. Wasn't that, was that when, because he kind of speaks in paragraphs, wasn't that just when he was like, I absolutely condemn it, stand down, stand by, or whatever he said, he didn't condemn it? Biden and the whoever was moderating the debate that night, I don't remember his name, asked him, and then even the moderator said, right now is a perfect opportunity, will you condemn the white supremacy? And he said, yep, I will, I will, stand back and stand by, literally word for word. So he did condemn it? He did not condemn it, he told them to stand by. You have repeatedly we criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing extremist right. groups, but are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what are you, what are you, you look, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and white like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and white supremacists. Proud boys, stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what. Are you guys Biden supporters? I'm um, somebody that supports science and supports women, so right now for this election specifically, I'm choosing to vote for Biden. What does it mean to support women? Because I feel like most people would kind of like, you know, be neutral on the, the woman question, but not, you know, what does it mean like for you to, to then support them? So for me, supporting women means like everything that RBG just put in over her lifetime, like in the Supreme Court, all the little protections, like but when our parents were born, our moms couldn't get a mortgage by themselves. They had to have a man sign with them. And for me, I'm successful. I'm doing my thing in life. Why do I need a man or my parent to co-sign for me? Like that, that was something RBG stood for. And now with the new Supreme Court person getting nominated, Amy, what's her name? Like that's something all of our women's rights are just getting taken away. I believe if my health is on the line, I should be able to get an abortion, no questions asked not based on what hospital and their religious beliefs. I think we should, it's a health benefit for sure. Was it RBG that like wrote the opinion on the case that made it so that women could get credit cards and, uh, and mortgages? I honestly don't want to you know, answer that for sure, but I definitely wouldn't put it past her being a part of that for sure too. Do you think that Amy Conan Barrett's going to actually like overturn stuff like that? And I do. I think that she, she was dodging a lot of questions in her last interviews. I think that she is closing every door that RBG opened for her just as quick as she can get in there, and that's really sad. And last question, just because you said that you're pro-woman. An interesting stat that I came across recently is that white women, middle-aged white women, are the most likely demographic to be on antidepressants. They've been like skyrocketing since the 1970s, 1980s. I'm just wondering, why do you think that might be like specifically white women? I'm sorry, one more. White women, is that what you said? Yeah. I mean, 
I don't know, that gets a lot into like healthcare and different things too, but in general I think we're all fed up, we're done, and I can only imagine when I'm 40 and 50 and I'm still fighting for the same bullshit that like men have get handed to them and things like that it is really frustrating so i think that would be why i feel like i need anti-anxiety after seeing all this hate out here you know? i also don't think putting um females on birth control at 12 years old to regulate their hormones to like mitigate pregnancy is like helping women and their, and their depression and their mental health yeah so you guys are against birth control absolutely not <laughs> i think that um there should be other options as far as like women and hormone treatment maybe like there's something that we can do for like male birth control besides condoms. Male birth control? Yeah. You want to mess up our hormones? Yes! <laughs> if we just all stop messing up hormones. That could be nice too, you know, like some sort of um, screening process for people that procreate. Or, here's a thought, don't take birth control. And then, and then, and then, do you see how they multiply over there? It's because they're pro life what do you mean they multiply? The cons what do you mean they? I think I mostly mean Republicans because they don't believe in abortion. When's a little guy going to stand up and say enough of this? That's true. Well, thank you, Hillary Clinton, for, yes. for those words of wisdom. Stay warm. I am. I'm hot. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is hot. Hillary Clinton's not hot. More of a Nancy Reagan guy, Melania, Jackie. When's the next time we're going to get a pog in the White House, boys? <laughs> any any final thoughts? Biden for president 2020. Yeah. Grab him by the ballot box. Yeah. Grab him by the ballot box. Unless you're a star, <laughs> then they let you do it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait! Where did that little boy go? Yeah, but you knew it was wrong! <laughs> 19th Amendment, great idea. It has now reached the point in the evening where we will do the four more years chant to let the communists know that they will not take our country from us and we are still here and we love President Trump and we love our First Amendment and we love our Second Amendment. Four more years, four more years, four more years, four more years, four more years. John, he's, he's a favorite. He's a Yo, favorite. what's up, John? <laughs> IQ name, my friend. He's a fan of yours. Oh, my God. It is okay that you are insecure. It is okay that you have a poor relationship with your father. We will accept you. Embrace the dawn. Embrace Jesus Christ. Four more years. 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 Let's go.